My name is Andrew Kortz. I'm humble and happy to be participating in Nolker Shorts. This is a great project and I am pleased to be able to contribute. I'm the founder and president of All Ag Considered. We're a nonprofit agricultural educational consortium. I'm a certified energy manager and a lead AP and focus on on farm energy efficiency. I'm also a small farmer. I call myself a hard scrabble dry land tiny farmer. We're trying to create a food forest on less than 10 acres. We grow blackberries, blueberries, elderberries, grapes, apple, pear, peach, plum, fig, and nut trees, an assortment of herbs and flowers. We're always experimenting with regenerative agriculture as our lens and our focus. Our goal is to increase soil health, water retention and biodiversity each and every year. Everything must play a, this key role in the ecosystem. Soil is the primary component of regeneration. The question I get all the time is what's the difference between soil and dirt? Well, it's a one word answer. Soil is living, dirt is not. I went to the tiny farm this morning and I picked up a scoop full of soil, a scoop full of dirt, and a scoop full of compost that I'll show you later. Soil has three components, minerals, organic matter, and living organisms. And living organisms is what makes soil soil. This tiny handful of soil here has billions, that's billions with a B of organisms, including bacteria, fungi, algae, protozoas, nematodes, worms, ants, bugs, and many more. Most of them are called microbes because we can't see them with our naked eye. They can only be seen under a microscope. All function in an ecosystem. They have three main functions. Nutrient cycling, creating air and water passageways to both filter and store air and water, and to stimulate plant growth. This dirt was taken from a pile that was dumped at the farm a year ago, and its sole purpose is to fill potholes in the road. Soil is living. I wanted to make a book recommendation for, because we can't cover everything in the Nolker Shorts. Dirt to Soil by Gay Brown, who I consider my inspirational uh, leader, um, is a great book about regenerative agriculture and regenerative soil particularly. He had, he and his wife inherited uh, a farm that had three years of utter failure and he started studying the principles of natural systems and, and doing experiments and he came up with four primary uh, tenets to regenerative agriculture. One is limited disturbance of the soil, mechanical, physical, or chemical. And that's where we get the term no-till. That's where I get the term no-till. He believed armor was one of the most important things. Don't leave any soil uncovered because wind and rain will erode away the topsoil. Keep the living plant in there and that's where we get cover cropping. He believed in diversity of crops. That's why we rotate the crops to keep the negative pathogens and viruses from getting too comfortable around a certain species. And lastly, he believed that animal integration into the farm is one of the most important things you can do to regenerate the soil. The second part about his book, that, and the reason I read it or listen to it so often, is that his inspirational kindness is just tremendous. It's been a key to his long-term success, and I believe it to be also a key to long-term success to change. Um, he takes time out of his day, and he's a very busy man. He runs a 5,000 acre farm, he's writing books, he's giving speeches, but he will take time to talk to anybody in need and explain the tenets that, he, that he's discovered, and I believe that kindness really is part of the long-term success. How to define soil health? Well, soil health is defined by having a good living ecosystem in it. Contains aggregates that help bind the soil to prevent erosion and runoff. It holds water. It provides a home for bacteria, fungi, and other microbes to fight diseases and pests. It provides minerals and nutrients that feed plants. In a nutshell, again, a healthy soil is a living soil, a good, healthy ecosystem. When you hear the term dead soil, what does that mean? Dead soil is dirt. No topsoil, no humus, no worms, no fungi, no microbes. Does not compact when wet. Results in runoff and erosion. I like to think of an old dirt road as being dead soil. Does composting improve soil health? Heck yeah! 
it's one of the best ways to improve your soil health. In addition to the four tenets that we talked about, Mr. Brown's um, soil regeneration practices. Compost is the biological, natural decomposition of organic material. I picked this handful up at the, at the tiny farm this morning. This is a nutrient-rich amendment to your soil. You make compost by taking browns that we'll call carbon and their leaves and greens, which are nitrogen and like grass and coffee grounds, and you let them mix and you stir them and mix them and you do nothing else and nature does the work. The microbes and all the organisms naturally come to it and do all the work. And you can see here, this is not completely complex. They're, they're little pieces of leaves and sticks and this is what we um, make. And then you just lay this in the soil. You don't even have to work it in because it'll filter into the soil by itself. This is the most important environmental restoration act you can do when combined with all the other regenerative practices. Everything starts with the soil. Thank you, Nolker Company, for allowing me to participate in this short. It's been my pleasure. For those who still aren't sure, Nolker Company restores degraded ecosystems from the ground up. They work in education and awareness all the way to boots on the ground. How can you support an opera company? One, you can visit their website and read their material. They're coming out with new material almost every day. Go to their social media, like, comment, share on posts you like, donate. And I want to address this from a grassroots perspective because when they go to apply for $100,000 grants to do a 200 acre farm and regenerate the ecosystem from the ground up, part of their case, part of their points to the large donors is that we got 20 people who gave $10 a piece. There's grassroots support for this project and donors like that. I want to thank you for watching. It's been my pleasure. I would like to end with four things that I think will make the world a better place. One, you need to read and learn every single day. The more you know, the more you realize you don't know, and so the more you'll end up learning. Be kind, smile, say please and thank you. Hold the door, look people in the eyes. Smile, smile, smile. Cost you nothing, it makes you a happier person and it makes the other person happier too. Repurpose, reuse, recycle. Enough said about that. But the last thing is I want you to share good things with friends, family, and colleagues. There's so much negativity in the world now that we tend to get a negative view on things, but there are a lot of good things happening like Nolker that are doing positive game-changing events and people don't know about them so it's incumbent upon every, all of us to share the good news with our friends family and colleagues thank you very much for watching like comment and share if you enjoyed it and have a great day test, but in his heart he knows he's blessed hard scrabble dry